YouTube, Larry Richardson here from Richardson Auto Sports, back again with another shop visit video this time. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty much the middle of winter right now. I think we have about two and a half months before the uh, first official practice. It's also uh, the February 3rd is the date, so uh, progress-wise on our race car, we're about, oh, I'd say a little more than halfway done with what we were planning on doing this year. Still a lot of work to go. Uh, we've hit a little bit of a, fun, a financial wall, so we're just taking some time out to uh, go take a look at another shop for you guys. I know I haven't put up a video in a while, so I figured we'll go take a look over here at uh, Doug Nelson's shop for Nelson Motorsports. Uh, Doug Nelson, driver of the 51 car, he uh, had a little bit of a rough year he was doing really well in the points and got into a really bad wreck that cost him his car so uh, for a while Doug was feeling really down he was pretty much done with racing but of course as you know once it's in you it's in you for life so he's uh, in the process of building a new car and that's what we're gonna go check out right now he's uh, got a shop up here that we are quickly approaching so I'm actually going to slow down a bit because I don't exactly remember where his house is. <laughs> uh, let's see, one, two, up oh, there it is, alright. So yeah, Doug's been uh, racing for quite a while, he's one of the class veterans and uh, I want to say he's been racing for a good seven years or so. And, uh, you know, with this being a front-wheel drive class and a quote-unquote entry-level class, it's not often you see a veteran. So we're going to go take a look at Doug and see what he's got and see if we can inherit some of that knowledge. So, let's get the car off, get the door open, bolts off, all that fun stuff. There's actually Doug's car right there. You can see the number 51, Wheeling All-American Series. And I know his shop is actually out back here, so he knew I was coming and he didn't shovel me a path, but that's okay. I'm not mad at him. We're heading to that big barn right back there. I might even just cut the video and do some editing so that way this long walk is not included. So just a moment, we'll be right back. All right, here we are just outside the door to uh, Nelson Motorsports. I can hear some tinkering and slamming and banging going on, so he must be doing some work, but let's give it a knock and see what happens. Hi. All right, we're coming on in. Mr. Doug Nelson, how are you today? I'm doing all right. You look cold. Yeah, you gotta be to do this stuff. What are we working on? Uh, some few ball points, some control arms that just came in. Oh, awesome. Got nice. a few ball points. I don't trust the standard stock stuff that was on it. I gotcha. How's the new car coming along, sir? It's coming slowly but surely. How's that new camera coming along? <laughs> Slowly but surely. No, actually, it's. Uh, I actually like it quite a bit better than the uh, little Sony action cam that I was using before. I feel like I'm more of a YouTuber than just a, you know, an amateur that just grabs a cell phone or something. Even though we were just using the camera out of the race car. <laughs> so what do we got here? I've already told the uh, YouTube fans that you're building a new hot rod for the 2017 race season. Well, it was an Impala. Uh, Chevy Impala, the three in it, of course, is my motor of choice. All right. Um, hopefully, it's fast. Or just as fast as my car was last year. That's what I'm shooting for. Yeah, because you were doing really well until you had that uh, little accident. Yeah, hope not have that this year. All right, don't we all? A couple fender benders, I'm fine with. Uh, wall hits, I'm not. <laughs> exactly. So said it's an Impala 3800 motor. Man, that thing takes up a lot of space. Yeah, it does. A lot of space. 
bone stock, or you got any secrets you're going to not share with us? I got, some, I got a few secrets I'm not going to share with you. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. Uh, got the roll cage in there already. And uh, YouTube, you guys might even notice this car. It looks a little familiar if you pay attention to our Facebook page, because this thing is actually, the construction on it started in the Richardson Auto Sports shop. Our car was out getting some work done, so we loaned out our space to uh, help out Doug a bit. I'm still waiting for the check for the, from that, but that's okay. <laughs> Spoiler's looking good. I see the fuel uh, fuel door is blocked off, so you must have, have a cell in there somewhere. Very nice, very nice. Same old steering wheel as last time, stock gauge cluster. That was Very a, good. That was a good 40, 50 dollar steering wheel. Slight weight, man. Got to shave the weight while we can when we can on these cars. Exactly. They lowered our weight rule from uh, was it 2,700 pounds down to 2,400 for automatics. Yep. Yeah. So. And I'm thinking about taking the tailpiece off right now and shaving some more weight out of this thing. Right. Yeah, because these things come. How heavy are they stock? Well over 3,000. Well over 3,000? My car last year was 2,950 with me in it. With you in it, wow. And I still got it down to the 15s. Very good, very good. You know, weights isn't everything, but, but it, it does help a lot. Yeah, I have uh, 30 bucks. I got inner tire run ins, outer tire run ins, and the ball joints for $32 online. Any website you want to plug for that deal? Amazon. Amazon, okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's learn a little bit more about Mr. Nelson here. How'd you get into racing, sir? I started doing Enduros. I had a one Enduro car I bought, figured I'd try it out. Couldn't finish an Enduro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, you know what? They got this new class on. I want to try that out. At least I can at least finish a race. Right, right. How many, how many Enduros did you run? Three. Three? Gotcha. Three. Never finished one of them. <laughs> Very cool. And how long ago was this? I that, think that was back in 06. 06. So, yeah, that's so. So, you've been racing for like 11 years now. Well, this will be your 11th year, I should say. This will be my 11th year actually race racing, you know, like not in an enduro. Gotcha. And front wheel, oh, and cyber stock, you've been doing what, seven years? Um, since 2010. Okay, so this will be your seventh year. Got it. I, I was close. <laughs> yeah, don't quote the math. Gotcha. How many cars have you gone through so far doing this racing thing? This will be the fifth. <laughs> the fifth car. Wow. Well, I've only destroyed three. Destroyed? Okay. No, wait a minute. Yeah, three, because I haven't messed with this one yet. <laughs> I sold one, but I had motor issues with that. That was my probe stain. Gotcha. That one I sold, and then right when I sold that one, I went right into building my the Impal, or the Impal, the Grand Prix, which was midway through last, uh, the year before. So by the time I got to last year, or the beginning of the year, I had it nice and finished to where I wanted it. So I'm a little behind on this one. We've got some time still, another two and a half months before the first practice. Of course, I say that, and you know, my motor's sitting next to my car, and it's yeah, in several pieces. <laughs> that's what I'm planning on doing next year: is pulling the motor out and refreshing it, and probably doing some more motor work to it. Right. Right now, all my money's going into getting the car ready and getting it out there, and getting the suspension. As I can see, there's no suspension in the whole car because I can't afford it right now until the tax money comes. Yep, that was going to be my next question if you've got so, that tax return in yet. <laughs> yep, I got a week more, one more week and it'll be in, and I'll be down, I'll be, I'll be right down the lanes. Yep, haven't even gotten a chance to file mine yet, so, but we finally got all the stuff we need, so, that guy was telling the fans earlier we hit a paywall, so, or, or, a, uh, or a financial wall, so, mm -hmm. once we get that tax return in, we'll be hot to trot just like everyone else. Plus, I haven't even paid for this car yet. Haven't even paid for it. Well. <laughs> so you're building someone else's car right now. Oh, no. The money comes in in a week. Uh -huh. And then I'll pay for it, and then it'll be all mine. Gotcha. All right. So uh, any sponsors that are going to be helping you out with that, aside from uh, Doug Nelson himself? Oh, I got 
the person that's going to do the paint job is going to be the one I had last year, the, the awesome paint job on the uh, Grand Ham, um, which is uh, uh, Accurate Auto Body. All right. And then I will also have Cyril's Productions on the car, too. All right. Which they're helping me out a lot, helping me get the car painted, hopefully. Uh -huh. so, so if, if, you'll, know, you'll know if I actually got uh, an extra sponsor because the way the car is painted. It's all black. I didn't get paid. <laughs> <laughs> right. So. Makes sense. Yeah, I uh, decided I was gonna do something fancy with mine, and then I decided, you know what? That's just a waste of money and time. I'm just gonna make, paint it the same as it was last year. Maybe I'll add some sparkles or I'm something. I was thinking about just saving the 200 bucks because it's like 200 bucks to have it painted, and then throw the name on the cover. So I think 200 bucks for a paint job ain't bad. Right. But uh, at this point, I'm thinking I can use that 200 to something else. So I'm really thinking about just making the whole car black this year. Back in black. I got. I, I need the extra hundred to get my vinyls. Vinyls you gotta have. Gotta have vinyls. Can't yeah. spray paint them on. They look like crap. Right. But um, my vinyls will look good no matter what, even if it's on black. Mm -hmm. so Who I'm provides gonna, your vinyl? I'm really thinking about going down and buying ten cans of black. And pff, done. Who provides your vinyl? What? Who provides the vinyl for oh, you? Oh, Cronin. Cronin Signs. Gotcha. He's, he does a great job. Cool. He makes them for me and I put them on. I don't have him put them on because he charges more. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but he does do an awesome job. He's done, done all my vinyls for the last three years. Three or okay. four years. Very good. And you did win uh, Best Appearing Car last year too. So that goes to show that those sponsors and the people that do your vinyls do good work. I'm still not bitter about about that at all. Don't worry. You know, my painting job was so good. They thought they were, they thought that I had wrapped the car. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no, that was a paint job. Uh huh. I'm I'm. Don't worry. I'm. I mean, I, I'm glad you. I'm glad you got that award. I'm totally not bitter about that at all. Totally not bitter about that at all. That's okay. Next year, I'll get, this year I'll get best best. Uh, I don't know. Was it most improved? Most improved. It, well, hell, yeah, hopefully hope you finish the season, and then there's no doubt about it. <laughs> well, that's the only year I've actually not finished the season. Well, I'm the year before the car died. So taking a look at this hood over here, I remember one thing about this car, and I know it's got a little bit of a history. Uh, you want to tell us about how you acquired this thing? Oh, I got, a, I got this car from Gary Howe. He was, I stripped it out. We were going to use it as a... Uh, we were going to use it as a show car for his Red Ride program, but um, I guess he didn't end up doing that, so he just had to sit in his garage, and I just said, hey, Gary, can I buy it from you? <laughs> <laughs> right. And he said, he called me back about three months later and said, yeah, here you want it, you got it. So this was the hood that was actually going to go on, the one from last year, because all if you noticed, all the cars were red last year, right. all the Red Ride. This, this hood was on one of the ones they were actually going to run, but they didn't want to mess up the hood. So they just painted another hood, all red, the one that was on this car, and put it on that car, and then kept that one to put on the show car. So it just sits there, and people just look at it, and all that. So. Right. You do a lot of work for the Run and Ride program, too, don't you? I didn't this year, because Gary, I think we had enough cars that we didn't have to really build any this year. Um, but yes, so since the program started, I've probably built or helped build um, at least 15 to 20 cars. Gotcha. The Rent a Ride program is something, as far as I know, is unique in the world of short track racing. Uh, Kalamazoo Speedway actually provides a race car for you. I believe the price is two ninety-five this year. And for that price, they give you a car, a fire suit, a helmet, everything you need to participate in a full race day. Uh, they even throw in a training session, too, for you during the week so you can get acquainted to the car, uh, learn the racing line, things like that. Then come, come Friday night, actually, not Saturday. Come Friday night, you out there, you're out there running with the rest of the uh, flip-flop Cyberstock class. So, if you ever want to get into racing but you don't want to uh, shell out a, a major financial and time commitment to build a car yourself check out that Kalamazoo Speedway Rent-A-Ride program guys 
$2.95 gets you everything you need to experience what it's like to be a race car driver for a day. Alright, well Doug, I think we've got just about everything we need, unless you want to say, have anything else you want to say or show or anything. Just hope to have a good year this year. Alright. I hope you'd have a good year too, because you have been had a little bad luck last year. Yeah, I think it was that sophomore slump, but, you know, not a sophomore anymore, so we'll see what happens. You'll get over it. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for your time, sir. This is Larry Richardson from Richardson Autosports here at the uh, Nelson Motorsports garage. We're uh, taking one one quick, uh, one last glance at the car, and uh, you'll see this thing out there on the track with us in a few months. Until then, you guys have a good winter. See you later.